Hey friends, how's it going? And welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I want to talk to you about an option set and uh, what this uh, protocol is about and how you can use this. And I also want to discuss what are some of the advantages and the disadvantages of using this. So uh, over here, we see that uh, this is the Apple documentation and uh, you can read this on your own, but I'm going to show you a very practical example of how you can use this, all right? So you would have come across something like this uh, when you write code like this, all right? So I, over here, we have view.layer.maskcorner. We have this uh, square brackets over here, and it's, it looks like this is some kind of array of enum that we're passing in, but it's not, okay? So let's uh, go into mask corner and let's jump to the definition. And you see over here, this conforms to CA corner mask. So I think this is a protocol. So let me just open this and, oh, oh it's, this is a strut. Okay, so this is an option set, all right? So over here, notice that these are all the values inside. So this is not an enum, all right? It's public static var, you know, it, it declares all these different values over here. Okay, so now let's talk about why should we use this over uh, an array, okay? So let me, uh, let me first explain. So maybe uh, I'm gonna use the Xcode project instead of the playground because for some reason the playground isn't working for me uh, very well. Okay, so let's uh, maybe, let's call this a sauce, okay? So let's assume we're making some kind of hamburger. So we have chili, um, we have, oh, <laughs> there's no let here. There is uh, ketchup. And then what else do we have? Uh, maybe let's have mustard over here. All right, so let's assume that we have a burger, a burger, and then uh, we just have, uh, you know, we just have a burger with sauce, okay? So when we are to construct our burger, so let's do let burger equals to burger. And then what's gonna happen is that uh, maybe let's do sauces. All right, so you might be very familiar with something like this. And then what we do is, okay, let's add the sauce. Okay, let's add ketchup, let's add chili, and let's add uh, mustard. But one of the problems that we face here is that, you know, what happens if we add another chili inside over here? And then if we are to pass this, you know, we are going to see like there are repeated elements over here. So one way we might try to, you know, uh, you know, we might do something like this, unique saucers. Uh, we might uh, do something like, okay, maybe let's put them into a set. So maybe return array, and then let's do a set. Uh, let's do, um, sauce and then we might do sauces like that you know we might do something like that just to make sure that we get the unique values all right okay is this correct sauces okay is it running let me just uh, command b to build this okay anyway you get the point all right we are trying to uh, get the unique value so we cast them into a set and then we make them into an array so what option set does is just to handle this for us automatically all right so, uh, however, there are some pros and cons as well that I, I see. So, okay, so how an option set work would be. So now this time it will be a strut, all right? So let's call this sauces, all right, instead of the singular sauce. And then this is called an option set. All right, so guys, if you want to find out more, there are examples over here. So um, let's see, um, we have this one over here. So this is a good example. But anyway, I'm just going to uh, just type it up for you, all right? So sauces, and then we're gonna have a static lead, chili, okay? And then uh, we're gonna do sauce, sauces, and then we have to do uh, raw value, one, um, double uh, uh, back arrows. Okay, if, uh, I, I don't really know what this is. You can read more about this yourself. I think it has to do something with shift left, so you can check it out for yourself, okay? So anyway, I'm just gonna show you the very practical example of how uh, this works, okay? So we have chili, and then we have ketchup, and then we have mustard over here, and then what we need to do is to make this one and two, and then because option set is a protocol, right? So we have to uh, implement uh, this uh, initializer over here. Okay, so let's do, um, let's do let raw value, um, and let's set this to be int, okay? So this is how you do it. Because we're using a strut, uh, we can uh, not, we can not declare the initializer, okay? So this is gonna work. All right, so how is it gonna look like this time? Instead of doing it this way, it's going to be sauces, just like that, all right? So let me just get rid of this. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's construct the burger, let burger equals to burger. And then now sauces, we can open up these square brackets again, and now we can do chili, mustard, ketchup and uh, what, what do we have? 
I'll start over here. All right, so you might be asking, so what's the difference between this? It looks very much the same. Okay, the difference is that this uh, uh, sources uh, option set will only contain unique values, all right? So you are unable to duplicate them. It handles that unique values for you. So as you know, a set, you know, it, it can only contain unique values and therefore this is the nature of the option set. Okay, so one of the problem, in my view, I, I won't say a problem, but one of the not so, um, easy way to find out uh, what these items are. So let, let's assume if you have them inside an, uh, an enum, you can do like a case illiterable and then you can print all cases. So for an option set, you're unable to do that, all right? So let us uh, let me give you an example. Let source equals to, or uh, let sources equals to burgle.sources and then let's print them out and let's see uh, what do we get, all right? So sources, it looks like that. It needs to be the small s1. Okay, so let us let me just run this on the simulator and let's see what we are seeing inside. Okay, so we see raw value 7. Like what the heck is raw value 7? Because there's no way for us to identify what uh, elements are inside this option set. Alright, so um, you won't be able to, um, uh, you know, do a for loop to print that out. Alright, so, you know, uh, if we have them inside an uh, array of enum, you know, we do something like for source in saucers, Saucers, AU, so, why can't I get a small one over here? All right, so obviously you can't because um, this is not an array. This is not gonna work. If I do a command B over here, it's gonna say that this doesn't conform to sequence, all right? So the way to check what elements are inside, uh, we have to do something like um, um, print um, sources contains chili. <laughs> we have to do something like that, all right? So. Let me just run this and uh, we'll see that uh, you'll print out true, all right? So this is one, uh, I would say a, a constraint in, in a sense where you cannot really print out what the uh, the elements are, but there are ways around it. If you go to Stack Overflow, uh, it, it shows you how you can add a custom string convertible, but you have to add some kind of boilerplate code, which I honestly think it's not a very gracious way of doing it. Okay, so why do you want to use an option set? So as you, as you know, an option set is a set um, it allows you to use option functions, okay? So, okay, I think I know why I'm spelling sources incorrectly. <laughs> Sources.union, okay? You can do things like union. Okay, basically all the set uh, functions over here. So, um, you can uh, get that for free instead of casting it into a set and then working this uh, working uh, using these functions. All right, guys, very short video and I hope that uh, you find this helpful. All right, that's all I have for you guys. I'll see you in the next one. Cheers and bye.